In this video, we will see an example on nodal analysis. If you want to buy notes on electrical and electronics engineering, check the link in the description below. Also, check out the other videos of digital electronics, signal and system, and power electronics, and more subjects related to electrical and electronics engineering on the playlist of this YouTube channel. Question. Apply nodal analysis to solve for Vx in the circuit of figure. So here for this circuit, we have to find the value of this Vx by using nodal analysis. Solution. So first of all, what we will do? Let's assume this is node A. So this is one node. Let's draw it like this. This is node A and this is a reference node let's say this is ground node of zero voltage this is reference node the voltage of this reference node is zero volt so we have to assume all the currents towards this reference node now this is two ampere current and let's say this is current i1 this is current let's say i2 we are assuming these two currents towards this reference node and this current is also downward. Now what we will do, we will apply KCL at node A. So according to KCL, KCL states that summation of all the currents entering a node is equal to summation of all the currents leaving the node. So let's apply KCL at node A. Apply KCL at node A. Now here according to KCL the entering current the entering current is only 2 ampere. Here we can see this current is entering in this node and all other currents are leaving. So let's put the entering current which is 2 ampere is equal to now leaving currents are I1 plus I2 plus 0 0.2 Vx. I1 plus I2 plus 0 0.2 Vx. This is a dependent current source. It is a voltage dependent current source. Now let's put this in voltage form. So 2 is equal to I1. Now here we can see I1 we can put it like this this voltage now this node voltage is let's say Va and this is voltage 0 so I1 will be equal to Va minus 0 divided by 10 Va minus 0 divided by 10 plus I2 now I2 is Va this node voltage is Va minus 0 divided by 20 Va minus 0 Va minus 0 divided by 20 plus 0 0.2 Vx now here we can see this Vx this voltage is equal to Va simply so here we can write since Va is equal to Vx because the voltage across this 20 ohm is Vx also the voltage across this this 20 ohm is Va because it is in parallel so the voltage will be same so here we can write Va is equal to Vx so now in place of this Vx we can substitute Va so let's put Va so this will be easier to solve and get the value of Va then from Va we can find the value of Vx so now let's simplify this so it will be 2 is equal to Va upon 10 plus Va upon 20 then plus 0 0.2 Va now let's take a Va common so 2 is equal to Va in bracket 1 upon 10 then plus 1 upon 20 then plus 0 0.2 so it is 2 Va now let's solve this so if we solve this it will be 1 upon 10 
then plus 1 upon 20 then plus 0 0.2 so it is equal to 0 0.35 0 0.35 so here we can write VA is equal to 2 upon 0 0.35 So, 2 upon 0 0.35 is 5.71, 5.71 volt. But we know that, but VA is equal to, here we can see, VA is equal to VX. So, but VA is equal to VX. So, therefore, VX is equal to 5.71 volt. So, this is the final answer for this problem. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to this channel. Also, check out the other videos on this channel. And thanks for watching.